Okay. Okay, okay. I think we are live. Hello, Liam. If you see and hear me well here, please say that you see and hear me. So you know we know that it will work. And I know Tiffany is going still. So I think more people will join soon. Yes. Hello, hello. Thank you. Hör och ser. Yes, hello Belinda. So nice for people joining. We waiting to people have the time for come from uh, Tiffany's just awesome project. She had a great live. I only had some minutes to watch her live. Hello, you're so welcome, people joining. Hello, hello. Oh, so many joining, so I believe. Hello, hello to all of you. Liam, Ulrika, Belinda, Moika, Sue, Disorganized Crafter, Nunu, Marita, Margaret, Liam, Sky Blue Hippie. Yes. So welcome. So hope, uh, yes, so nice of you coming here. As always, uh, Tiffany make a great project. I had my dinner, so I will look rewatch her projects uh, later on. Okay, I start. I you see something see theme here? Yes, I made a shopping haul today and I have been shopping a new uh, mold from uh, Redesign and from Prima, this Marinette Voyage. And uh, I think the molds are just amazing uh, with this sea theme, the marine theme. So I think I got inspired and must make something at last. So I have uh, will use them. So you see, I have the biggest, um, what do you call it? The word, I think I know it, anchor. The anchor, the bigger one here. And steering wheel, I suppose, I have here. And yeah, anchor. And here I um, have made it. If I turn it around, you can see I had created on something that I find on the flea market and I was getting it for free and I don't know what it is, something for the kitchen. And I said to myself, okay, it's perfect to create. And I can put like a rope here around it. Uh, I don't have the rope, but uh, it's so uh, you can do it afterward when everything is dry. So I have glue, glue everything and some art stones and some uh, um, shells and just so all over it and also some texture paste. So it's crackle. That's uh my starting point so i'm think it was oh something like a rivian ja marita um something like that like a piece of something for the kitchen but i find it like a nice texture in the background so and i was thinking it was a long time ago since I was playing with my favorite paints and the liquid acrylic. And I want to do it like a little bit turquoise, of course, 
but also a little bit carmine to make it a little bit rusty and brown for the shadowing. So it will be like a blue uh, turquoise and uh, like a rusty one with the carmine. It's like a red pinkish, but it gets like a little bit orange, a little bit rusty and also some brown. Oops, a little bit too much of that. Okay, so I start and I spraying. Hello, ladies, and hello, Tiffany. You did an awesome project. I was having dinner, so I couldn't watch all the your live, but I would do it tomorrow. So I have the liquid acrylic paint, and I will add some color to my project and spraying a lot of water to it and also make it a little bit rusty and i want the color to go in the cracks so i have some crackle paste and that's why i needed to prepare it in advance so And it feels just awesome to be here because I had like an insane two weeks uh, here in Sweden. So it feels so nice to be here with you, to be chatting with you and to see your ladies chatting with each other. It's just awesome. When I was sitting here earlier this day, I was feeling, wow, I love to sit here and to be crafting with with you so nice okay i will leave that for dry because otherwise it gets like messy hope you all feel okay everything i know in many parts of the world the schools have started and like here and uh, but we have our children in school. We are not homeschooling them. But I know in many parts of the world, they are homeschooling. So nice to see people joining and please give the thumbs up so more people and if you like share the stream with your friends that's nice if you do that and look how awesome uh, it goes in the crackles like here it's just amazing how it goes in the crackles. I love the crackles. I really do. And usually I use metallics in the end. And I will do that today. But I'm thinking I usually use... Um, gold and today i will have like silver we we'll see how that goes we will see how that goes okay spraying and wiping off some and i will add some like that and right away i need to use my heat gun so i have the time to read your chat hey petra so we have några svenskar och ni är så hjärtligt välkomna så så välkomna ge tummen upp och dela gärna med era vänner att ni har tittat på min video Yes, I love teal. I know it's a very popular color. 
I will not have so much teal. No, this is deep turquoise. So it's not the marine color. I will now add the carmine to make it a little bit like a rusty look without using the rust paste. So I had dried up a bit. And you see my shells, I haven't painted them with gesso. I want to keep them like natural. Hej Tessa, vad kul att det är lite svenskor som tittar hit. Kul. Okay, we have some Swedes here. I'm so lucky I have some Swede comes and here and joining me. Now I have the carmine. And the carmine, if you add it, it gets like um, almost like a rusty effect. And that's exactly how I want. And when you're spraying it, it's it's like a reddish color, reddish orange color. But when you spray it, it yeah, it's get more faded, and uh, it's like a tealish color. So I think it goes perfectly with the shells and make them like a little bit dirty and a little bit greenish color it gets here. Hello, Karen. Hello, everyone. So nice to see you all. I think, yeah, I thought caramel was a red purple color. Yes, Liam, it is a like, but here it's so amazing when you add it to these projects and you're spraying on it. It's like reddish color. And I was scared about it in the beginning because I'm not the red person. Uh, but when you add it like that first and then spraying, it get like a yellowish cut tone. And I think that gives like a rusty effect to the project when it's drying. And all of now you people know that I really enjoy the rusty color. Like that. Yes, I already like that. So I'm adding a little bit on some places this reddish color. And if I get too much, you can spray a lot of water or wiping it off. Yes, it's a favorite combo. It's so lovely color combo. It always works. And I haven't been crafting since one week ago. So I feel like a beginner when you haven't been crafting for a long time because I have been so tired. So I go for the safe one. And this is like a safe combo. Okay, now I want the, the carmine to go like in the gaps to give it like it's the rusty have come from the gaps. So I'm getting there. So I'm going through my project like this. And I need something here, I believe. So. I have really missed to sit here. When I was sat here this morning, I feel like, oh, I love to be here. Oh. Uh, but like that, sometimes um, you get busy with other stuffs or stuff. That's life. Okay. I have an idea why I'm sitting here. I must find something. Uh, 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 I got an idea because I haven't really decided what to have here in the middle. But, uh, uh, oh, I remember I saw something. Okay, look, I have these. Can I have one of these in the middle? 
it's a moon child it's really for the moon but i think they can match here i will try the brownish one let me see because i haven't decided what to have in the middle perhaps i will think about it could you have that or if i will have a photo i will keep it like that and we we'll see if it will stay i don't know i was got that idea because i saw them mm -mm -mm -hmm. oh, this one or the black one perhaps I and mean, you will have a sentiment we will we see but um, i don't know we will we see i haven't made a plan because i don't know what to have in the middle i will not um, gluing it we keep it there and see if it will stay there in the middle i don't know i haven't made the decisions yet okay i'm going more with the carmine and I must break close up here to not have the color everywhere. Or I'm thinking to add in like a photo or a sentiment here in the middle. I haven't decided. Or it will be a sentiment here or a photo here. Perhaps we will see how it goes. It's like that. It will come around in the end. And it all already looks a little bit like grungy. And what I love with these paints that they are, you don't need so much of the paint and so easy to use. So ladies, hope you're We'll have a good time today on our stream. Oops, a little bit too much. A little bit too much here. Okay. How will I wipe it off? <clears throat> Something like that. I must see. Yeah. Something like that. Oops, I think I need to have a uh, something underneath. Thank you, Marita. It's like stickers from Prima. It's a, like a Moonshine collection. It's designed by Frank Garcia. And I have them. And I was thinking, could they go in the middle? The size was perfect. Uh, but I haven't decided. We will see. Or we can have, like, add sentiments on it. We will see how it goes. Oh, I make it messy here with a brownish color. Now I will dry up a little bit because I will add, like, a little bit, a little bit um, of brown only a touch of brown and i will dry it up hello anya nice to see you all so nice deep turquoise yes i have the deep turquoise wow favorite colors and it goes like perfectly in the crackles. You see, it goes. And I don't use the outer focus like uh, Tiffany because it makes so difficult uh, uh, while during when you when you are going. and we are only here today for one hour so 
I think we will see. Perhaps we have photo sentiment. I don't know. But uh, I know I will have like want to have like a brown brown rope. I don't have nothing like that at home. So I must give myself time to find something like that, like a rope to have around. And I want like a large one. I can probably be, make one by myself. And I believe I will end up doing that. But I was got that, this idea a little time before I was going, coming here before my dinner. Okay, I will add like a little bit of the brown. I'm careful. I don't want this project to be like a brownish project. I still want to keep it. I only want to do like some shadowing. And I feel my art stones and things and they are not complete dry yet. And I was gluing everything before, but it's not completely dry. Yeah, I will do a rope around my project. So I believe I will do that when my stream is over and uh, I post a picture tomorrow on my Instagram so you can see how it ended up with the rope because that is my basic idea. So I'm adding a little bit brown to my project to make like a little bit shadowing. I'm a little bit careful with the brown, not too much. So only to make it a little bit more dimensional. And soon I was wanted to do like this C theme because I know soon we will have like fall here and I know I will do a lot of fall projects so we have like still very hot weather here so I think that was perfect to still do the this kind of project so I'm a little bit careful with the brownish Like this, here I can have a little bit more brown. Okay. It's really much color now. I didn't think about to have the color, but if I will have the dark rope, I think it will, it's okay to have like this. I would think it more, more whitish. But you know, when you start creating, it doesn't always go how you're thinking. It's like that. I'm adding more color than I was thinking, but I think it goes. Dabbing here and there. I don't want to be out of camera here for you like that. Oh. See, I'm starting to be messy instantly here. Okay, so the brown. The burnt sienna, I only try to use it for right now for like shadowing to give give it a little bit more interest to the details. Like that, spraying a lot of water again. Yeah, something like that. I think that can be enough coloring. 
Yeah, miss messy is is can be like this. I will dry it up. What is a rope? Isn't it a rope? Rope is a um, it's the wrong word for a rope. Okay, thank you, uh, Karen. And I want it to be go around here. And I think I will go over some parts. with the black, uh, white gesso and then I will go to add some mini art stones and also the silvery color. So I will drying it up almost everything so I can go over with the gesso. And when you have the teal, the no, the turquoise and the carmine, uh, if it's not completely dry, it gets a little bit greenish also. But that works on my project here. Okay, we see where I put my gesso here. Here we have gesso. And uh, I also need a dry brush. Let's see where I find one. So, and I need a sip of coffee also. So lovely that you're joining here today. These lies are just awesome. Yes, coffee is a must. I always have coffee. Or if you call this coffee, I don't know. Can you call this coffee? It's milk and coffee. So it's not like black. It's very much milk. I do love Starbucks and like that. That's an addiction I have to drink latte and things from Starbucks or other coffee houses. Okay, I go carefully over uh, with white gesso. I will not do so heavily with the job. Uh, white but I want the crackles to show more so I want I add it like carefully because I think it makes great when the crackles pop up a little bit so carefully on some parts not so much. Uh, and I believe I will must do the rope by myself. So I don't need here nearby where I live. I don't have a shop who's selling ropes. So I believe I will do one by myself, but that's okay. I will be watching live streams. Oh, Bunas. Thank you, Bunas Art. So, oh, <laughs> you don't need to do that, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, so kind of you. 
It's not necessary, but it's really kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sitting here in my craft room. I have like a door open and window open and I having so hot. Oh. <laughs> almost difficult to breathe and they promised or they have said it will come like a sun thunderstorm and it was like a short visit but a thunderstorm with the lightning always need that that help the weather but it's so hot here right now hello cindy you're welcome so carefully, if I do too much with the gesso, I think it will be okay. Oh, I'm so hot in my room. I don't know, but I believe some of you also have in uh, living countries like uh, I know in uh, parts of Europe also have this hot weather and I know also some of your americans had really hot weather but i know and we have really hot weather we don't used to have this hot weather in august okay i think i'm good with that one torrential rain here oh thunder yeah we need thunder because it's awful weather here. So I need to take a baby wipe on my face. Oh, it's so, so hot. Okay, but I'm back like that. Okay. Look, we, I think we are like good with that one and I will wipe off this. Yeah, I don't have like uh, air condition in my craft room. Uh, my craft room have been a garage in the house and we have built a room for my craft space in the garage. And um, so a little bit it's hard to breathe and I know uh, I have been at my work and in my classroom I have like 37 degrees and no air condition was working yes so it's like that but I will not complain too much because I'm not a wintry person, person, I don't like the snow. So I'm lucky with this one. Yeah. <laughs> but I really like this, but sometimes it comes over. Okay, I think we are pretty okay with that background. Yeah, thank you, Belinda. Give a thumbs up. Now I will add i will think what i will add i need soft gloss yell i will have like mini art stones and the um, micro beads yeah it can be i need also to go and swim tomorrow in the cold sea i believe so but today I want to be here on my crafty space. I need that. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. So nice of you. Now I have the soft gloss gel and I have the mini art stones. I want to add, add like extra interest in my where i have the big art stones but i have paint over them now i will add like carefully 
carefully, carefully some mini art stones and also the micro beads because you, I said to you that I wanted to make it a little bit more silvery. I'm used to create more gold project and today I'm going for the silver. Yeah. So I often do more silvery and pro gold pro projects. What you do? Do you have more gold on your projects or do you go for the silver projects or you don't use metal at all? Let me know because I do more in gold. I don't do so much in silvery. So what you do? Or you do more rust. What you do? Oh, you do more silver. Ah, pale gold. Okay. Because I do a lot of gold. And uh, I said, both at the same time, yes. Of course, I do mix. I don't mind mixing metal with each other. Okay. I can do both, but I realize when I have looked through my projects that the silver is not so much. I have done more with the gold. So that's why. Now I will add like the mini art stones. I add them on my brush because I don't want to have so much. So I'm adding them with my brush so they don't get, they get like more. They don't come. You can use the technique that you sprinkle them on. But this why this time I'm using my brush to place them. Yes, Allah, it will be. You can rewatch it. Sometimes uh, the when you do live stream, uh, it can take. Sometimes it can take only like a one hour, and sometimes it can take like a six hours. But it will uh, it will stay on my YouTube channel. So it's always okay to rewatch it from the beginning. It's okay. So I'm adding with a size, more small size of brush, the mini art stones to make, to make like the mini ones go a little bit here. And I want them because I have an idea to add like a silvery floating around here. We will see how it will go like that, I believe. Yes, love the central piece. It's a mold. And this one, uh, small one, it's a sticker. I haven't decided if I want to keep it. But you see, it's a Moonshild sticker from Prima. It's an old one. And I haven't op used this. And I was wondering if I can have it here. And I have it glue it. So I will have it there to see if it will stay. I haven't decided yet. Or I will have a sentiment or if I will have like a vintage photo or something else. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going over with the mini art stones. So I don't know if I will keep it. Perhaps it will stay there and I can have like a sentiment over it. Perhaps I haven't decided, but I found them here in my room and I haven't opened the packaging. So I was thinking, oh, why not? I can perhaps use them. So 
so okay and now i will add the more micro beads but i want more of these these stones here because i will add like a silver here so it need to be dry like that okay and who was next after uh cindy yeah you need to do the atc please do who is next after me it's belinda is it belinda after me or who is it after me because i still have 20 minutes to go but it can be good to know who is coming after me Okay, I think we have pretty much of the mini art stones. It looks like uh, Belinda next. That's good. Belinda Basson next. Okay, and now I have the micro beads. And not what that one. I will carefully sprinkle them. I don't want to have too much because I will have like silvery background. Ah, that's nice, Sky Blue Hippie. So sometimes. We perhaps have different colors. Okay, and here it was falling the silvery in the in the here. So, what you call in the shells. So, I need to add like micro beads in the shells, of course. I need to add the silvery in the shells oh yes and i will do like this to get off the excess yeah it really looks like it had been in the bottom of the sea it's a little bit like not perfect texture and that's uh perfect uh, uh, uh. now we need to dry up i was thinking if i need to have like little bit like sesame i will have that but i think believe i will add that in the last last end and it only need to be a little bit now i will do some drying yes it's perfect disorganized crafter to put a project especially crackle paste outside to dry, be drying they dry so fast I was having mine in the window and it was cracking just beautifully. My being in the hot window. So it was crackling only in like one hour. So it's just amazing. Thank you, Charmaine Blue. Thank you, thank you. So please give a thumbs up before you go. I'm so happy you ladies are here and chatting and watching. This color combo, it's really my favorite. Yeah, crackle paste looks like amazing if you let leave them for drying. And I really want to encourage you to, that's good, thank you. And it, I really encourage, encourage you to find different things to play on. Like here, I have this kitchen uh, item. Uh, now it's hot because it's the metallic. I will show you quick, but who was not from the beginning. It's something from the kitchen. I got, got it for free uh, on a vintage market, on a free market. So. 
I took it on thinking, okay, I would play with it. It's, it's great texture in the background. So find I, I before you throw items away, perhaps you can paint over it. I love that. When trash, you can use trash in your projects, especially paint on them. It doesn't need always to be like a canvas or something like that. Look what's happened. My uh, my sticker went away, and um, perhaps we will not have the sticker. I don't know. Perhaps we will be without. We keep it there still. I don't know. Okay, I will add like silver. I said, and now I have the foundry. It's a silver. Um, of the alloy of Alco inks. Thank you, Kate. Thank you so much. And now, and this is always scary, but I think that makes what I'm looking for. And um, I don't have alcohol near me. I think it will be enough with the water. So I'm doing only a few drops. I will check that my drops will work. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. So it doesn't come a big blob. So we see if I have like a needle here someplace. Na, na, na. Yes. If it have been so it doesn't come too much. I don't want that. Okay, I think we can go check. Yeah, now it work. So I will add like a silver. So I'm starting here and only a little bit of the alloy and it goes like heavenly and it's like really lovely paint yeah something like that hmm? and it's not exactly gold it's like white gold i believe uh, almost a little bit gold but it's silver anyway but i think is it foundry? I believe I have the because it looks more goldish now. Okay. So I adding few drops carefully and now it's more like silvery. Yeah, it's look like I want it. And this one look a little bit more gold or it's a light here in my craft room, perhaps. But I think this make what I'm looking for. It looks like water. I'm using Cindy Alco inks and I'm using alloys. Yes, the alloy, and I love to use it like this, like a few drops, and the it goes and it leaves. And you can spray water, but it's so if you spray water, it really go off. But if you get too much, then you can add like a little bit water but i think this allo alcohol yeah alco inks but i think this made my project how i was wanted to give that background silver yes it's like a mirror effect and it looks uh, just like i wanted it okay I have like 10 minutes, 11 minutes left. Now I'm 
wondering what I will have here for I have like this can I have one like that I don't know I don't think so I try to find something for my focal point or a title and um, these are in gold but they are easy to change that's my problem now what I will have for title Da, 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 da. Gold killing it. Or, uh oh, if I will have. Thank you, thank you, ladies. It's uh, the last touches now, and I haven't think about it. It can also always come like a butterfly, but I don't want that. It, or paper dolls also works, but. Should it be like that? A pack of paper doll? We can test one. Like a girly one here. Oh, 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 I don't like her. That's not the right one. Something. Yeah, Cisal and the title. It should be. Uh uh. We try with the Cisal first, and then we try to find the title. And the Cisal will only be, and now I only have like a few minutes left. I will only add the Cisal like going in the empty place. Oh, now it's making me trouble when I only have a little time. Ha. They don't, they don't like me. It didn't like me today, the Cisal. So I will do it in another way. And I don't want too much. You take a new brush and pull it like in a little bit carefully. Only a little bit Cisal. Not too much. like that and we need title perhaps a title in the middle so i will look for a title oops and we don't need too much cesal only a little bit this is a little bit too much here like that i believe i only want to have little bit Cezal to make it a little bit more like C from the C's project like that okay we see if I have something I have a lot of titles like these I don't know if they will work mm -hmm. Or what I feel for this one are really big ones. So these are black and white. Now oh, this is snarky one. I not don't want to have snarky. Oh, perhaps one of these. Let's talk it more shatty. Okay. It's like a sunny beach. Yes. So I should have something. That's why I was wondering about these. Fun, killing it, thankful, great. Girl, fabulous, amazing. Or can it be? And we change the color. We see. We see. It doesn't need. If I have something like this, I can always change the color or doing it. No, 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 no. You see, I haven't prepared anything for the title. So, amazing, amazing. Well, perhaps here. Yeah.
no, 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 no. I need to think about something in my stash and what I can use. Uh -uh. I have, I believe, oh, I believe I have something we see in my stash. I have something here. I have like, I'm looking around if I have something in my my jar. Sometimes I'm organized, but sometimes I'm not. And right now I don't have prepared like a title, but mm, this was golden one. Uh, and, but can the title be like, like that with something else? And this is how I'm working. I don't prepare always if I don't need to. What I will have, something like that. Because this is matching here. Mm, can be. Something like that can be. It matches the project 52. I like, like that one. I also, but this is gold. I was thinking of the plates. So I will look for it. Quick, quick, quick. I have something in the other side of my room. So I was not so organized today. something look here what I found in my room <laughs> I find butterflies can we add a silvery butterfly from Tim Holtz perhaps we can yeah perhaps we can in the middle no I don't know or here uh, something like that yeah why not I have these, uh, yeah, good, butterflies, yes. I believe something like that. I haven't glued nothing yet, but I believe this can be because otherwise everything will be in project and I really like that it's go like, um, not it go like, what do you call it, over the project. So I believe thank, something like that. And these, I have like old plates, but I think it's a little bit too big for the project. So these butterflies from Tim Holtz uh, will be great. And under the one, uh, the butterfly, I will have like a little bit of the sisal and I will glue. I have two minutes left. Yeah. And I had the time to finish a little bit sisal and I have glue. You get the glue working. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, ladies. I'm soon ready, but you get the idea of my project. And we see if I do something else. Perhaps I found something else on my table to make 
some changes or I add something else. You never know. And here I will add it, the butterfly glue it like that. And the 52, yes. Glue it like that. So this is my project. Um, I have one minute left and you will go to Belinda. Look, my final project, it needs to be dry up, but something like this. And I will add like a rope. And the, and the, I will add some photos to my Instagram tomorrow. So thank you for watching and pop over to to Belinda now. Thank you. See you soon again. Bye bye. Give the thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Tack alla svenskor för att ni kommer och hejar på mig. Jag är jättetacksam. Uppskattas jättemycket. Bra. Gå till Belinda. Go to Belinda and uh, have a great time to the other ones. Bye bye. Thank you Anja. Nice to see you all ladies. Thank you and bye bye.